Hello everybody, welcome to this tutorial, how to learn German in four weeks. My name is Sven Frank, I'm director of the Speed Learning Academy, I'm from Germany and I speak a couple of languages myself and I'm delighted to be here because it gives me the opportunity to show you a tremendous series of techniques to learn foreign languages. The Polyglot Project that we have started in April with a group of German-speaking people who have learned English is now continuing to French. So you will learn German with this video tutorial and from that point you can learn French as well. If you want to skip German and you want to go to the French tutorial directly, just go underneath this video and you will find the link in the description of the video. But please remember that German is one of the most beautiful languages in the world and you will really, really love it. And once you've mastered German, you will master any language in the world. Now, the first thing that we do is we take our anchor drink. I was explaining this to you in the last video. An anchor drink is a drink that you normally do not drink. For me, my anchor drink for the English language, for example, is, is black, tea with, uh, black tea with milk. My anchor drink for French is coffee with milk. And my anchor drink for German is black coffee. And because I only drink black coffee when I speak German. And I only drink black tea with milk when I speak English. And I only drink coffee with milk when I speak French. So, as I live in Germany, and German is my native language, my mother language, I drink a lot of black coffee, but only when I speak German, never when I speak English or French. So, choose a non-alcoholic beverage that can be your anchor drink, and start drinking it whenever you learn German. Okay, and then your put yourself into an upright position and put your feet on the ground because there are only two reasons for your brain why you're moving. First of all, you're hunting or you're fleeing, you're on a flight. So, you know, a couple of years ago when all these wild animals were chasing us and trying to eat us, we had to decide either we fight or we flight. So, our, anchor, our, our um, sitting position makes our brain think that we are not hunting and we are not running away. So we just can relax and go into a kind of standby modus. And to have a brain in a standby modus is quite problematic. It's, it's not very helpful when learning something. To avoid that, bring yourself into an upright position, put your feet on the ground, so that your body believes that you will jump up in a minute and your brain becomes more attentive because it wants to know and scan what is the reason why we are going to jump up in a minute. Is there a tiger coming or my mother-in-law or anything else? So just, just follow the instructions and don't think too much about it. Okay, and then please... Um, Get yourself such a wonderful clock, a sand watch, as we say in Germany. Um, I'm not aware of the, the English word at the moment. I can look it up later. Or tune the alarm on your smartphone for 20 minutes because you can be fully concentrated for 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes, your brain subscribe what you have already learned with the new stuff. So that's why students come from school, pupils come from school, come home, and the parents ask them, what have you been doing today in school? And they say, well, I don't know. And it's the truth, because the synapses in your brain, they're connecting during the breaks, when they have a pause. They're not connecting while learning. So when you give them input, when you have a learning process, it's like training your body. The muscles are not growing while you're in the gym doing your exercises. The muscles are growing when you relax and when you 
calm down or when you have a break and when you pause. It's the same with your neurons, your synapses. They have to connect so that you can um, reliably get the information that you have stored in your brain. If you have no connections of synapses, it's like lack of hardware. And so you simply cannot get any information. So 20 minutes, full power, and then have, make a break of 10 minutes or so. Uh, where you do something relaxing, eating, some sportive exercise, uh, driving a car, whatsoever. But please, nothing that will um, mentally um, stimulate you or activate you, like telephone calls or emails, just something relaxing. And then you take your teach yourself course or whatsoever, and you go to the back. Um, to the glossary, to the vocabulary list, vocabulary, yeah? Here, for example. And I want you to take your highlighter that I have recommended to you in my last video and mark all the German words that you understand at first sight because your mother language, English, is related to German. They are both Germanic languages. They are like cousins. And there are words like restaurant, restaurant, Information, information, active, aktiv, um, to present, präsentieren, that you will understand when you read them at first sight, you will understand them immediately. They will be pronounced in a different way, but still you can understand them. So this is the first part. And in this vocabulary glossary, you will find about more than 200 German words that you understand immediately. And this will give you a great start into the language because the international vocabulary that you understand is also a kind of smarter vocabulary. So you're raising the level of your conversation immediately, right from the beginning. The next step is you go through your first lesson for the first unit and you listen to the audio material, listen to the audio file, and mark all the German passages and phrases and sentences and words that you believe that you understand. Those you believe to understand, mark them. And then ignore all the grammar, all the, the exercises, and jump to unit two, and listen to the audio material, and then continue the way you have worked with the lesson in unit one and proceed until you have mastered the whole book. If you are a little bit hardworking, a little bit diligent, you should need about two days to work through the, the book like this. Um, but then, yeah, if you invest, let's say, 20 minutes, four times per day, it, it's going to take you two days to master this. The next step is you to be, so the, the German translation for to be, sein, and to have, haben. And you will find that they change a little bit. So I have, you have, we have, they have, is quite similar in English. In German it becomes ich bin, du bist, wir sind, sie sind. So you have to learn them by heart. But to be, habe, uh, to um, sein, and have, haben, these are the two mm, most important verbs in the German language. And then you can combine to have and to be with this international vocabulary. Like, I have a restaurant, ich habe ein Restaurant, I am in the hotel, ich bin im Hotel, I, mm, we have a bus, wir haben einen Bus. I am in the taxi, ich bin im Taxi. I want more information, ich, oh, I want will be the next unit, okay. But in the next video, you will have the model verbs like I want, uh, I should, I could, I have to, etc. But bear in mind that 
with this international vocabulary, you can make a lot of small sentences right from the beginning. Okay, and just play around a little bit with them. Okay, and if you really want to learn German fast, at the moment, the German language might just be noise for your brain. So just have the dialogues of your audio material, let them play in the background, whatever you do. If you drive a car, if you are in the bathroom in the morning and get ready, if you sleep at night, um, when you do the cooking, when you work at the computer, just have the German language, the units, the audio material in the back. So your brain gets used to the sound of the German language, which is beautiful. We have words like Frieden, um, Harmony, Majestätisch, Sauerkraut, Bratwurst. So it's a beautiful language. It's the language of poesy and poetry. Uh, it's the language of whatever you want to call it. So now let me summarize. We take our anchor drink, our German personal beverage, but please take a non-alcoholic one and make sure a drink you can get in Germany, in any German-speaking country, German, Austria, Switzerland, no matter where you are. Black coffee is quite helpful. Get your, bring yourself into the right into an upright position, tune the alarm clock for 20 minutes, um, go through the German vocabulary, mark all the words that you understand at first sight, then listen to your audio material, listen to the dialogues of every unit and go through unit by unit, unit by unit until you have gone through the whole course and um, play a little bit around with the verbs to be and to have, sein, und haben. Fine. So that's all for today. I'm looking forward to meeting you next time in the next video. Until then, eine gute Zeit und bis zum nächsten Mal.